Hello and welcome to the 42nd video in this series programming a chess engine in JavaScript. So last video we have had the skeleton implemented of our alpha beta function and before we carry on with this I found I made a typo inside uh, the move loop here instead of move with a big M I had it with a small M inside the make move and I've changed it to a big M and the thing is from now on, well certainly for the next couple of videos, I'm going to fill in most of the placeholders that we have here inside Alpha Beta, the ones that we need to get the engine actually searching. Well, I'll ignore the PV move and the pick move and the killer moves and history table moves because I want to show it actually searching and then the effect that the other heuristics and things then have. But until it actually does its first search from now on, so two or three videos time I expect, I'm not going to do any more checking of the functions because it's a bit of a pain to put load of code in to make sure it can actually search then take it all out again and if I make any small typos then apologies I'll fix those when I actually first come to use the alpha beta in a test because obviously unlike C you don't pre-compile JavaScript so you don't realize you have any typos until you see in the console when the thing's running and there's an error so apologies if I make any and feel free to correct feel free to correct them but I'll correct them in a couple of videos time from now on Okay, so this video we're going to implement this check repetition 50 move rule and also I did have here, which I've just deleted when I was preparing for this video, a placeholder for a check a timeout here. So the first function we'll do now then is this check for a timeout and we'll call it function checkup and it's quite simple really, it literally does what it says on the tin. We're going to say if and then we're going to take the jQuery now to get the current time. So if the current time now minus and then the search controller start time is greater than the search controller time. So if we've taken more times currently in the search than well that should be a dollar not an end that if we've taken more time in the search than we were allocated then obviously we now have to break out of our search so we simply then set the search controller dot stop equal to bool dot true and then down in that will be picked up then down inside the alpha beta move loop here where you can see that we ask if we need to return because the stop flag has been set now the only thing to do is to decide when we want to call this checkup now obviously it's a bit of process for intensive with getting the time and bearing in mind that the engine searches between 100 and 2,000, 200,000 positions a second, I would say, on an average computer, even despite being under the browser, we don't need to call this function every uh, node. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something, if you imagine that we have a binary number, and if this bit is set to 1, then we have the number, obviously, uh, that is 2048. So the number 2047 would be all of the remaining bits as 1, and this bit here is 0. So, it, it, well, I'll set that like this. So we would have 111, 1111, and 1111, like this. Which essentially says that if we take our number of nodes searched and bitwise and them with 2047, and the result is 0, then we know that the current number of nodes we have is divisible by 2048. Or in other words, every 2048 nodes, the bitwise and with 2047 will be zero. So what we'll say then, we will say that if, and we'll say search controller dot nodes, bitwise ended with 2047 equals zero, then we'll call our checkup. So that's basically just saying every 2048 nodes call our checkup to see without a time, which as I said with 100,000 or so nodes per second is calling it very often anyway and allows us then more or less exactly on time to exit the search function. So that's that one implemented. The next one I want to look at is this checking for repetition. So repetition check uses runs through our history uh, his history array inside our game board. I'm just writing the function out here inside our game board structure. So the way you might think we're doing this, a, ref a repetition in terms of the alpha beta is nothing to do with the three times repeat. It's simply we're looking for a single repetition of position. 
So the temptation is to simply loop through every position key in the history array from start to finish and see if we get something equal to the current position key. But that's actually a little bit inefficient because you remember that we have inside Chester 50 move rule and the 50 move rule gets reset to zero every time we have a pawn move or a capture. Well, if there's a pawn move or a capture then happened, then we can't have a position repetition from before that moved happened because they're permanent changes to a position. They're not pieces that can move backwards to where or the pieces that can move backwards to where they started, so like a knight moving to a square, then back to the original square to repeat the position. So what we can do is we can actually start, instead of starting at index 0 in our history away, we can start at the current history ply minus the number of 50 move roll increments. So in terms of code, I can say index equals 0 for our loop, and now I can say that for index equals and now I'm going to say game board and I'm just going to copy this game board here because I need it a couple more times so I'm going to say game board dot and then his play and then minus the game board dot 50 move so just going back to where the 50 move rule was last reset and then we'll keep going up until and we want the previous move but one because we've already got the position key for the current. We want to compare from not where the current move is, but the move before that, the position key. So we want to keep going up until, whilst the index is less than a game board dot his play minus one. And the reason we're going to less than minus one is obviously the his play minus one, we, have, we stored the last move made in make move. But that was a move for the opponent. So we actually want to take as our last move, we check the move before that because the last move was the opponent to move, so it can't be a position repeat either. So, and then plus plus index. So all we need to now do now is say if the current position key is equal to, and then we simply take our history array at index position key then we know we have a repeat so we'll return bool dot true and that's all we need to do there and if we get through this without having returned then we can return bool dot false so that's the is repetition function now written and I hope it's fairly clear why I'm doing this here it's just a little optimization to save us going through every move in history array when we don't need to so now I need to go back down into alpha beta here and fill in this check repetition and 50 move rule. So I'll say now if and then is repetition or the game board dot 50 move is greater than or equal to 100. So we've hit our 50 move rule and and this is crucial here, the game board play is not equal to zero. And the reason we have this in here is I don't want any exiting when we first go into alpha beta, else we won't get the best move. Now the situation should be is that the GUI never allows us to come into our, our search when we're in the case of uh, the 50 move rule being broken. But in our terms, we could come into the search when we're already started searching a position we've seen before in the game. Well, we at least want to get one move out, so we won't do this in the first uh, move search in alpha beta, otherwise we'll never get the best move from the position. So we at least want search once, so we never apply zero return without having had a best move. Otherwise, we return zero because the position is a draw and the score for a draw is zero. Okay then, so that's those two placeholders into the alpha beta function now. In the next video, we'll carry on implementing some of the others. So thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.